You too. This is Archery Nerd. Today, we are going to talk about the Archer's Paradox. Archer's Paradox is one of the most misused terms on the internet by Archer's. So today, with my understanding and my not-so-perfect English, I'll try my best to explain to you what the Archer's Paradox really is. Archer's Paradox is the, when flexing, the, arrow is the arrow. Arrow. flexing of the arrow. When the arrow is in paradox. Archer's Paradox is not the flexing of the arrow. Let's have a look of the definition of paradox. It is a situation that is made out of two or more opposite things that seems impossible, but could be proven to be well-founded or true when it is investigated. Here's the definition of the Archer's Paradox. You are welcome to pause and read it yourself. Let's make it less complicated. The Archer's Paradox just means shooting at a target without having your arrow pointing at it. I kinda stole this line from Greg. He's from 3D Archery and Archery 101. He made a very great video explaining the Archer's Paradox. Make sure you check it out. Now let's get into the topic. The Archer's Paradox does not happen on standard shot bows, which are the bows that are cut past the center because you can point your arrow directly towards your target. Here is a bow that is not cut to center. It is clear that it is pointing to the side. Here is a horse bow without a shelf. Look at how drastic the angle is. Now let's discuss the physics of an arrow flight. This is a horse bow or a self bow without a shelf. The arrow is pointing to the side, but how? Is it going to fly straight towards the target in front of the bow itself, instead of flying to the side? Have a look of this picture. This is the Archer's Paradox. When the bowstring is released, the arrow is accelerated. Inertia is the tendency of a body to resist acceleration by remaining at rest. At this point, the heavier arrow point resists the acceleration of the arrow shaft by remaining at rest, causing the arrow to be bent. If there is an action, there is always a reaction. Yeah, you are not better than me at all. Yeah, I'll teach you. For this action, the arrow flexes back in another direction as the reaction and continues to do so. During the process, the flexing of the arrow experiences a decrease in the amplitude due to energy loss to the surrounding just like how a pendulum swing gets lower each time and eventually stops. Damping occurs while the arrow is flexing and the flexing eventually stops, allowing the arrow to fly straight towards the target. Let's recap with diagrams from another angle. To achieve this, you're actually gonna need the correct arrow spine according to the poundage of your bow, which we will talk about in another day. As a conclusion, the Archer's Paradox is never the bending of the arrow. The Archer's Paradox is just shooting at the target without having your arrow pointing at it, and still hit the target. The flexing of the arrow is just the explanation of the Archer's Paradox. Of course, credit to Greg again. Make sure you check out both of his channels on YouTube, I'll put the links in the description below. Alright, thank you for watching my video, I hope you learned something. Feel free to give me a thumbs up, a comment, or subscribe to my channel for more archery videos. And if you disagree with me, you can just give me a thumbs down. This is Archery Nerd. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.